And now the Lakers starting group. Under Jacumbo is out there with LeBron James. Then it's Fred Van Vliet. And there's Bryant. And it's Dennis in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Heat, Jimmy Butler is out there with Gallinari. Then there's Hardaway. Then there's Harrison Barnes. And it's none in at the five. Well, we know the playoffs are right around the corner, Greg. Do you think any of these teams change their approach for playoff contenders? Kev, you know, goal number one is health. I mean, outside of that, you're, you're looking at seeding. You're trying to fine-tune, but you want to just get it dialed in and get ready for what's about to be a marathon run, you hope, in the postseason. Find that fine-tuning. And, yes, it's good. And Giannis just gobbling up the rebound, just spreads his wing out there, and ball falls right into it. Here's none. That shot off. Great D that time from Van Vliet. And here's the fast break. Bryant leading the way. And the dunk by Giannis. Changing ends quickly. He's rewarded with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down. But when he gets room like that, you got to look out. Now, here's none. 11 points for him in that last game against the Timberwolves in Minneapolis. And it's Butler missing. Lakers have gone two or three here to start out the game. Here's James. That's good, and it's Bryant with the assist. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. And we heard Shaquille O'Neal bestow his Superman nickname on Giannis Antetokounmpo, and rightfully so. The Greek freak, the most dominant paint scorer since Shaq himself. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. When a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. And watching up at the get to the rim, can G.A. take your breath away? <laughs> Man, he can go around you, through you, or literally jump right over you. Call him the freak, Superman, what have you. None of it feels like an exaggeration. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. He'd have gone 0 of 3 from the field to start the game. None passes to Barnes. Alinari outside. Miami no good on that time either. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. And it's Butler missing. Yeah, trying to get going here, but that's an offer for the first five here to start the game. They get it again. Out of the Kumbo, kicks to Bryant. Drills the three-pointer. Bryant's got five now. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. They could use a big shot here to get this off. Too many empty possessions. Yeah, they were like good college players. One and done. You got to be able to make some noise on the offensive glass and keep possessions alive. They weren't able to do that. Here's what Miami's going with right now. Robinson's checked in for Jimmy Butler. Earl comes in for Tim Hardaway Jr. And it's Will Barton in for Kendrick Nunn. Here's LeBron after the Heat pickup, too. The three from Bryant. Miami grabs the miss. The Lakers beat them last time when these two teams met in Los Angeles. Yeah, tough game on the road. The guys you're defending, obviously comfortable shooting in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. Yeah, they couldn't do it in that one. Always a step slow in closing out the shooters and maybe even recognition of who was on the floor. Just not enough energy, and that's a tough way to win on the road. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. Bryant's shot is good. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. And here's Barton after the three-pointer from Bryant. Down to five on the shot clock. Pass to Robinson. To the inside. Gallinari. Giannis with some nice D. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. 
displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. Now here's Barnes. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Molinari finds Barton. Good ball movement here by Miami. Barnes passes to Hero. Off target with his three. Lakers leading by 12. Onto Takumbo. Dishes to Burke. Bryant, that's for two. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Onto Takumbo. I know people can't see you, but you're doing what I'm doing. Scratching your head to that turnover. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. And early in the game, a defensive play like that goes a long way, establishing the attitude you want. And Miami making a change here. Akpal is checked in. And then for Los Angeles, Shaquille Harris comes in for James. And Cheeks is subbed in for Burke. Barton surveying the floor. Now the pass to Barnes. Over onto Takumbo. And the rejection by Antetokounmpo. Well, you go in there weak like that, and a guy like Giannis with his length is going to throw it away. And so it's Los Angeles enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. Their defense has been active and... And we spoke with Jimmy Butler not too long ago about his teammates. These guys work so hard, and they're young, and they're professional with it. Well, Greg is... A different look for Miami. Alinari, he's checked in for Harrison Barnes. Duncan Robinson comes in for Jimmy Butler. And it's Kendrick Nunn in for Will Barton. Taking a look at Los Angeles. Trey Burke is out there with Bryant. And it's Green. And it's LeBron James. And it's Giannis in at the five spot. Gallinari does such a great job of recognizing the floor space. And that time, credit him with the assist. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. B in that last game against the Bucs put together a nice evening. He dropped in 34 points and played tremendous defense as well, really causing havoc on both ends of the floor. He was unguardable all game long. He took whatever the defense gave up. I'm sure he wants to do that again tonight, Kevin. Yeah, David, he was in attack mode all night long. GA really propelled them to that win. When he's on, he is on. And there isn't all that much you can do to stop him. And sometimes you can just look at a guy and you see the confidence that he's playing with. That's what I like best. Here's Hero. Misses the three. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. And the lead should be safe if they can keep shooting the basketball like this. And Nunn has got the ball here for the Heat. They'll be hosting Orlando for the next one. And that game is the second of two straight at home. Passes it to Akpala. Over to the left wing. Pass to Nunn. Here's Akpala. Here's Hero. Hits it from three-point range. Hero's got seven. Well, the catch and shoot is where Tyler Hero excels. LeBron passes to Bryant. Hey, hey, right here. We've got 33 seconds left to play in the first half. Gets that one through the hole. Make him now 7 of 13 in this game. The Heat trail by 21. None passes to Gallinari. Here's Akpala. Pass to Hero. Here's the three. And the Heat, another three. Yeah, he couldn't connect on anything from outside in the first quarter, but now he's hit two threes in the second quarter, and he looks much better. Yep, that one goes. Giannis has got four points in the quarter. Well, this is where Giannis does all of his damage. He gets inside the paint, has the size to work you back, and then stretch out and score. From deep. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers closing out the quarter with a 20-point lead. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We come back right after this.
And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. You know, B has been exceptional here, guys. And guys, we saw just how tough he can be with the step to the rim. Great job of just attacking that first half. Yeah, nice job of carving his way to the inside with some ease. Not much resistance out there. We've got Tim Hardaway Jr. Gallinari is out there with Jimmy Butler. Then it's Kendrick Nunn. And it's Barnes in at the five. That's the group on the floor for Miami. You know, when you look at the balance of power between players and teams, Greg, does it feel like the players now have more say, more control than they used to? No doubt. Uh, we're seeing more players demand trades, sign shorter contracts with opt-outs. And the irony of that is, in my era, our best players were fearful for the length of their contracts hmm. or, or the life expectancy of their careers, believe it or not. And these guys today, they understand their value. Uh, they know what they bring to the table, and they are utilizing that to the max. And is that good, Greg, for the game? I think so. I, I, I do think most guys want to win, and they understand that their legacies are going to be defined about whether or not they do. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Uh, making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. Miami has gone one of three from downtown since halftime. The pass to Butler over James. Oh, good. That's one for their first four to start the second half. And, Bones, when you look at Jimmy Butler's elite impact at both ends, you could argue he's the best two-way shooting guard in the NBA. Clay Thompson might have something to say about that GA, but certainly Jimmy Butler and his physical presence allows him to play a multitude of positions. So sliding down to the three and getting physical is something that Jimmy will do. We know that he'll take on any assignment and compete with it. And the Heat making a change here. Bart. One fifty one left in the third. Bryant with it. Now guarded by Barton. Giannis kicks to Harrison. And here's Bryant for three. It's hauled in by the Heat. Barnes has got rebound number five here tonight. The kick outside to Butler. And the three ball is good. Butler's got five points in the quarter. Uh, he can be just lethal from the perimeter. Even though he didn't get good looks in the first quarter, will that make right there? That can change things. Here's Bryant, and Bryant slams it in. All night, they've asked him to shoulder the scoring load, and he is not disappointed. Butler deciding where to go with it. And it's blocked. And this feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. Bryant passes to Anadokounmpo. Shoots a fader. Second chance shot. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. When, when you're trying to claw your way back into a game, you cannot allow second chance opportunities. Yeah, those are tough. You get back into the game by working harder than the other team, not the other way around. They're just going to extend this lead. Kendrick Nunn, he's checked in for Jimmy Butler. James checked in for the Lakers. 35 seconds left here in the third quarter. Barnes finds Barton. But they'll get another chance. No good on the triple. L.A. has gone 2 of 5 with the three-point shot since coming out of the break. Bryant passes to Kaycock. On to Kumbo trying to break loose. Yep, it counts. Kaycock's got his second basket of the night. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. None bounce pass. Here's Barnes. Offensive struggles continue missing again. And so it's Los Angeles rolling along with a 27-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving up very few easy points. We'll return shortly.
And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. So helpful to the offensive versatility when your bigs can create freeing everybody up and that cut was wide open. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. So the Lakers five right now. Brian is out there with Trey Burke. And then there's Antetokounmpo. And it's Kaycock in at the four slot. Blair against Bryant. Passes it to O'Brien. A rebound by the Lakers. Here's on to Takumbo. It's good. The assist that time from Burke. 12 points for Giannis. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. Always a good sign of maturity and steps forward when you can take this kind of effort, focus, and concentration on the road to get a win. Pass to Burke. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Alinari, he's checked in for Miami. And then for Los Angeles, Green comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Cheeks is subbed in for Burke. And I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. E emphatic with the rejection. You've got to appreciate that kind of forceful defense. Heat shooting has been wayward so far. Only 37% from the floor. Bryant comes with the double team. Pass to O'Brien. Let's the three fly. Unable to get that one. And the Lakers take it the other way. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. Bryant can't get it to go. Well, he creates such a great opportunity right at the rim, and he just can't get it to go, even with the defense not really a factor. The Lakers have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter started. Makes it off the glass. Bryant's got 29. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Here's Vincent. It's good from long range. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. Time now for an injury report. Hey, guys, I got an update from the head athletic trainer of the Heat. And, guys, he told me that it appears to be a pinched nerve in his back. And they count on him to provide in all ways. Now that he's out, they're in a precarious situation. Kevin? All right, David, thanks. Well, guys, certainly not the news his fans were hoping for. Yeah, not at all. I mean, it sounds like he's got a long road ahead of him in terms of his recovery. Yeah, and this makes it particularly rough for this team. Other teammates now are going to have to step up, and it seems like it's going to be an extended period of time, so not easy to do. And Bryant slams it in. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, why well, you settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that? Greg, 11 years for you in the NBA, you had to have some favorite players that you played besides and with. You know, it's a great call, and, and there were a ton of them. Uh, a, a few guys, though, will say so Gary Payton. I got a, to, a chance to play with Gary for a year and have known him. We, we used to go at it in high school, and, and it's really about his personality. This is a guy that constant chatter, practice, on the court. That's what fed his confidence. Charles Oakley, another guy, he, he would run through a wall or through you to win a game. And then Scottie Pippen later in my career, just a winner and somebody who I competed against for many years but didn't have any opportunity to play with up close. Uh, I got a, a greater appreciation for his skill set. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it, just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Los Angeles.
You know, a team can have a great shooting night without getting a lot of assists, but tonight they had both. Yeah, and listen, you only get the assist if the guy you give it to makes the shot. So a lot of assists will up your field goal percentage, but this is a great team effort by everyone. And one thing about this team, they never stop pushing the envelope. Fantastic year already with 65 wins, and tonight making it 66. Very impressive. A two-game season series. They win them both and complete the sweep. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for B. Just knows how to fill it up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. Nobody that they assigned to him could really get a handle on him. Los Angeles has gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. Blair against Bryant. Bryant is doubled. Back to Waiters. Six to shoot. Here's Kaycock. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. The first free throw is good. And so he makes both from the line. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Now, here's Blair. No good that time. And if that's the best look you can get on a possession, what a waste of a trip down the floor. Yeah, see the coach? He's got that frown on his face. I think we know why. Not a high percentage look. Waiters surveying the D. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And that about wraps it up for Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge.